In this video, I am going to give you a complete guideline if you want to become a web developer. First thing first, no developer can remember everything. Developers mostly search problems on Google and look for a solution. So you also have to know the way how to search something on Google and take advantage of it. If you can do this, it will give you the opportunity to understand the code properly. If you are interested to become a web developer, at first you should know how internet works and also you have to know how browser works, what is domain name, what is hosting and how it works, what is HTTP and also HTTPS, what is DNS and so on. These are the basic things and if you are not comfortable with it, they will make too much trouble while learning. Before going through the web development journey, go through this basic understanding. First thing, you should have a computer with internet connection. Second thing is a web browser. You will create a website and definitely your website should behave perfectly on web browser. So you must have a web browser. I like to use Google Chrome, but you can try other web browser. It can be Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Safari, Brave and so on. As a developer, you need to write code. And if you're interested to write code in that case, you must have a code editor. I like to use VS code and now it's one of the most popular code editor, but you can try other code editor. It can be sublime text, atom, Veeam, and so on. You should have good understanding about terminal because when you want to work with version control, deployment, and also frameworks, you have to open terminal every now and then. If you are not comfortable with terminal, your life will be very difficult. You must have the basic understanding that how to navigate from one folder to another folder how to create a folder or how to create some files with terminal so I highly recommend you to learn terminal and lots of terminal on the market and if you are in Windows computer you will have two terminal first one is CMD and another one is PowerShell if you are in Ubuntu or Linux machine in that case you will have a default terminal bash and if you are in Mac machine your default terminal will be ZSH. I recommend you to use bash terminal the reason because you can download that and also you can use that any machine it can be Windows it can be Linux it can be Mac. So it would be great if you have a terminal what works every operating system and you will not have any bindings. So I recommend you to learn batch but you can try any other no problem at all. So before going to try coding you should have this basic understanding so it will be fun for you. What do you think about this video? Don't forget to click the like button so that algorithm also know that this video is helpful. So let's talk about the code. If you are interested to become a web developer you must have three basic understanding and first one is HTML meaning hypertext markup language second one is CSS cascading style sheet and third one is JavaScript you must have these three knowledge perfect otherwise you cannot be a web developer so you should go step by step HTML creates block CSS designs this block and JavaScript can make it dynamic so at first you have to learn HTML every website uses HTML it is the main building block of web but it's not a programming language it's a markup language if you can understand HTML basic syntax form validation semantic HTML then you are ready and you can say you know HTML if you are new to this channel don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the bell button next to the subscribe button so when I will publish a video you will notified next step is you have to learn CSS meaning cascading style sheets when you actually want to make your structure with HTML it's time to design your site and if you are interested to design your website in that case you should have good understanding about CSS if you understand basic CSS syntax if you understand flexbox grid as well as responsive design you are good to go and also learn some CSS3 animations and also transition so that your website will look far better. If you are new to this web development industry and you need help you can check out my Udemy course. Build responsive website with modern HTML, CSS and such. It's more than 10 hours course and you will understand all basics with HTML, CSS as well as such. And also I created some projects. This course earned excellent rating from the students who enrolled. I am giving you a coupon code. First 100 people can buy this course for less than $10. Check the video description for detail. If you ask me should I learn any CSS framework like Bootstrap or Tailwind or Materialized? I will say no. It's not the time to learn CSS framework. If you feel you have excellent knowledge about HTML and CSS, it's time to create some project based on your skill. Make sure your projects are responsive. Now it's high time to learn JavaScript. Most probably JavaScript is your first programming language. The reason because your first two languages, it is HTML and also CSS, they are not programming language. 
HTML is a markup language and CSS actually used for design. So JavaScript may be your first programming language and as a first learner, JavaScript might be a bit confused because it have functions, loops, variables. So it must be a bit difficult for you to understand. But if you continue with it, you will feel comfortable. And I want to let you know one thing and that is JavaScript is the most popular and also one of the most easiest programming language to learn. So don't hesitate to give some time here and how much time you will spend here it will be worth it so when you will able to learn basics JavaScript meaning you have good understanding about variables strings numbers functions loops DOM manipulation fetch API JSON ES6 and lots of them in that case you can say you have good understanding about JavaScript and before going to learn any JavaScript framework I highly recommend you to learn JavaScript or vanilla JavaScript perfectly otherwise you will face too much trouble on it but if you are interested to learn any JavaScript framework and you are comfortable that you have good understanding about JavaScript, then go for any JavaScript framework. It can be React, it can be Angular, it can be Vue. But nowadays, one of the most popular JavaScript framework is React. And if you ask me what framework I should learn, I will highly recommend you to learn React. The reason because it's easy to learn and also it will not take too much time to learn React. So you can go through with it and when you will comfortable with it you can explore other framework it can be view or angular as i said before you have to learn terminal and if you feel you have good understanding about terminal now it's time to learn version control if you want to work with a project with a team in that case you have to track everything when you actually want to update who updated who modified who added new feature you should know everything and version control can help you to understand the overall idea how actually everything works so you should have good understanding about version control and version control can track your complete project perfectly i recommend you to learn git and github the reason because it's nowadays one of the most popular version control it's time to create some projects based on html css as well as javascript when you will try to create a project you will face lots of problem and then look at the solution on google and it will give you the ultimate understanding on these topics upload your projects on netlify or github pages so you can share your project with your clients so you have good understanding about html css as well as javascript now it's time to learn a css framework it can be bootstrap and i recommend you to learn bootstrap the reason because nowadays it's one of the most popular and also it's high level css framework so i recommend you to learn bootstrap and it's a css CSS framework so you might ask me why I cannot learn bootstrap without learning JavaScript the reason because when you will want to work with bootstrap you will understand here also they used JavaScript for creating accordions creating a uh, navigation menu and also lots of them so if you have good understanding about HTML CSS and also JavaScript learning bootstrap will be easy so I recommend you to learn bootstrap after learning javascript so this is the first recommendation you can also learn tailwind that is low level css framework and also you can learn materialized if you want to learn bootstrap from the beginning and you want to create some project you can check out my udemy course definitely you will get the link in the description and for you only i will give 100 people who will purchase the course they will be able to purchase this from less than 10 dollars so don't forget to check out the course so you know html css javascript also you know a javascript framework as well as you know a css framework in that stage you can say you are a front-end developer and also you can apply for a job as a junior front-end developer also if you're interested you can do freelancing on any marketplace it can be upwork it can be fiverr it can be freelancer or anywhere so this is the skill what actually you want to know if you're interested to become a front-end web developer so let's talk about the back end you already learned javascript and also you can control your backend from different programming language it can be python it can be php it can be javascript but i recommend you to go javascript the reason because you already have a good understanding about javascript so if you're interested to become a backend web developer in that case you need to learn node.js and node.js will allow you to write code outside the browser so you should have good understanding about it and also then learn a javascript framework express.js with Node.js and also Express.js, you can define routes, connect databases, and also you can manage your API. You also need to learn NPM, meaning Node Package Manager. With NPM, you can use predefined packages, which can make your life easier. It's high time to learn API 
application programming interface. APIs allows you to communicate with front-end and back-end. You can learn REST API or RESTful API or you can learn GraphQL. But nowadays REST API is most popular. If you are comfortable with API, it's high time to learn a database. If you have a website, definitely it will handle lots of data and if you cannot manage your data, it will be too much trouble. So you should have good understanding about database and definitely every website have a database. Based on your work, you can learn MySQL or MongoDB. If you have a PHP based website, mostly they used MySQL. And if you have a JavaScript based website, mostly they used MongoDB. And if you know MongoDB, React, Express as well as Node, you can say you are a Mindstack web developer. And also if you learn MongoDB, Angular, Express and also Node, in that case you can say you are a Mindstack web developer. If you plan to earn money as a freelancer in that case, it's a good idea to learn a content management system or CMS. And nowadays one of the most popular content management system or CMS is WordPress. And on a freelancing marketplace there is lots of job for wordpress it can be wordpress theme development it can be wordpress customization it can be wordpress bug fix if you want to learn wordpress theme development or if you want to learn wordpress related thing you can check out my videos on youtube don't forget to check them from the playlist so you know what to learn if you want to become a front-end web developer and also if you interested to become a back-end web developer what you need to learn you know so i think you should have very good understanding about it and if you know everything from front Content to back end in that case you can say you are a full stack web developer so if i want to wrap up everything properly at first you should have a computer with internet connection you should have a web browser and also a code editor you should have good understanding about terminal and then start with html css and then javascript and then learn a css framework it can be bootstrap or tailwind or it can be uh, materialized and also you can learn a javascript framework it can be react angular or Vue. That's for the front end and if you're interested to become a back end web developer, in that case you can learn Python and then Django, you can learn PHP and then Laravel and you can also learn Node.js with Express.js and for database management you can learn MySQL or MongoDB and also you should learn the api so that you can manage every single thing so that's the basic thing about front end and back end and if a developer know front end technology as well as back end technology then he can say he is a full stack web developer and also every web developer should have a good understanding about design tool it can be adobe xd figma or sketch so i highly recommend you to learn a designing tool it can be adobe xd or figma or sketch and also if you're interested you can learn adobe photoshop the reason because most of the time when you want to work with a website client provides us a design and it can be in the photoshop version or psd version it can be figma or xd or sketch version so you should have good understanding about it i tried my best to explain every single thing in detail so that you understand it better what do you think about this video don't forget to let me know in the comment section and if you think this video is helpful for you don't forget to click the like button if you think my videos are helpful don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the bell button next to the subscribe button so when i will publish a video you will notify thanks for watching have a good day and stay safe i am ali hossain signing out